Hi, my name's Dan. Hope you're doing well today. In this short lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play every single major scale mode and more importantly, how you can memorize it really easily. Now, I'm going to assume that you know two things really, really well, and that's the major and the minor scale, natural minor scale, in these two positions. Don't worry too much about memorizing all this. I'll make a PDF that I'll put a link to below so you can have a look at everything after watching this video. So that's the C major scale in that position. Make sure you absolutely know that. I'm assuming for this lesson that you do. And then you've got an A natural minor scale. It doesn't matter that it's A natural minor, it could be anywhere, that's a movable shape. But you have a minor, a natural minor scale and a major scale. Those happen to be related, meaning they have the same notes in them. Now, if we know those two shapes, and many people do learn these kind of scales as the first scales that they learn, then every other major scale mode is really, really simple. Now, just a very quick definition about what a mode is. A lot of people are confused by, by them and how you use them. In this lesson, as we go along, I'll explain how you're gonna find the, the modes really quickly, and I'll just demo um, a few things around them that I'd like you to try as well. But a mode is just like a scale within a scale. So C major is just C, D, E, F, G, A, B. It's just those notes. And that's the octave, okay? And a mode is just where you play any notes of the C major scale, just maybe not the C, go start from D and you just go D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and you've got another mode. And let's just do that. So this is this would be called the second mode of the major scale. If you go from D to D, you get this Dorian mode. And look at this, it's exactly the same as the natural minor scale, except one note is different. And that's how you're going to learn these modes. It's just a memory aid. If you know the major scale really well, if you know the natural minor scale really well, then all the other modes that come from a major scale can be found just by changing one note. Okay, let's just go through them. I'll show you. Actually, there's one that's two notes, but I'll show you. So the first mode of a major scale is the major scale. It's called the Ionian mode. Okay, so if you know the major scale, you know this funny sounding word, the Ionian mode. So C Ionian is just C major. Great news, you already know one mode. We're gonna go through the modes of C major. You can do this in any key though. So go two frets high, you've got D on the fifth fret of the A string. I'm just gonna go D to D. We have what's called the Dorian mode, and it is exactly the same as the natural minor scale that I'm hoping and assuming that you already know. If you don't, just make sure maybe that for the next week you practice to make sure that you 100% have the major scale, natural minor scale down. Then all the other modes fall into place. It's the sixth note that is the one that's different. In a natural minor, it is a minor sixth, and in a, ma in a Dorian, it's a major sixth. I'm just going to rearrange that pattern to this one. Now this is one of the principles of learning something new, learning a scale, learning a new mode, is to instantly create music and get the connection of this new thing that we're learning. So a Dorian mode, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but it's often used in funk bass playing. It's that, you know, if we just do a root, the major sixth, which I'm now playing on the, the B, the fourth fret of the G string. The flat seven, that's the C right next door to it. And then I'm just adding in an F, the third fret of the D string. And you've got really cool, funky sounding notes. Good Times by Chic is the Dorian mode, just ascending. So that's that mode. If you know the natural minor scale, just move the sixth note up a fret, you've got the Dorian. The third mode of the C major scale starts on the third note, E playing that on the seventh fret of the A string. This mode is called the Phrygian mode. They all have Greek names, don't worry too much about the names, they're a bit funny, but here is the mode. 
it's exactly the same as E natural minor. With the exception of the second note, which is flattened. You get this Jaws sounding flat second or minor second interval. Which gives it this really sort of dark, evil sound, you know? Which is used a lot in metal, it's used a lot in, in rock music. So just know the natural minor scale with the second note down a fret. These are just memory sort of aids, really. So that's the third mode, that's the Phrygian mode. And then create something with it, okay? So you've got the shape. Let's keep it simple. That's your one octave movable shape. And, you know, let's do a rock thing. So we're going... Let's go that fast. We'll do eighth notes, which is one and two and three and four and... going root note to the second note and then to the third note. Now since it's an E, we have an E string. Let's involve the E string, low E string. So the first thing is to memorize it and to learn it and to understand it. And then you must just move into the realms of music with it, you know. Um, the more music you listen to, the more you'll come across these things. And that's quite an unusual sound. You might not hear that very, very often, but it's good for you to know what it is. So when you do encounter it, you do know what's going on. Moving on to the fourth mode. So this is the no the mode that starts on the fourth note of the major scale. So if you just travel up, C, D, E, F. It's the eighth fret of the A string. That's where I'm playing it. Now this is called the Lydian mode. And again, looks exactly like one of the scales you should know, the major or the natural minor. It looks exactly like the major scale, with the exception of the fourth note. This is an F major. The fourth note is a perfect fourth, but in the Lydian mode it's exactly the same except the fourth note is an augmented or sharpened fourth. There's the fourth. All it means is to sharpen it is to go up a fret. And you get this completely different sounding mode, the Lydian mode. A little bit more tense, a little bit more angsty. I'm just going to go to the next mode and show you something that I remembered um, from before. Look, so the, um, the next mode is the one that starts on the fifth note, C, D, E, F, G. That's the tenth fret. This one looks exactly the same as the major scale except the seventh note. Watch this. That is the major scale, G major. And that's G mixolydian. That's the name of this one. Now, what I wanted to show you these two together, the the Lydian, which is the fourth, and the Mixolydian, which is the fifth. Actually, just playing the mode up and down just sounds really good. There's that Green Day bass line, Longview. Uh, where's it going? Something like that. More likely bass lines do this sort of thing, where you are not just staying on one note, you're going to, to different notes. So that would be a good thing to do there. First of all, know that, okay, the fourth mode, that's, that's the one that's the major scale with the sharpened fourth. And the next one is the one that's like a major scale with, with a flat seven. And then you can actually see this pattern. You see how they all fit together. And, and from this point, I really think improvising, making up music is a very good way to go. You don't have to stick to one octave shapes. I'm just restricting the shapes just to keep things simpler. But of course, you can descend from the root note as well. So, you know. you 
you'll hear this when you listen to bass lines, you'll start to hear um, these notes at play. And so far I've been mentioning, you know, that's the one, that's two, three, four, five. And musicians do use this kind of language. So I've just been demonstrating really a four to a five chord progression, you know. That's the four. That's the five. And, you know, you can, you can add in some of the other things that we've done so far. So let's go to the one, you know. So this is the four. They all fit together perfectly. Okay, let's move on. We've done the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. We're now on the sixth mode. Now that just is your natural minor scale. The sixth mode of a major scale is called Aeolian. And again, these are Greek names. Don't worry too much if you if you don't, you know, understand them. Lots of musicians, professional musicians, greatest bass players of all time, they will make up bass lines and not really know what they're doing. It's not essential that you know. It's just essential that you know sort of how this works and, you know, how you can use it. So you already know this one. Now then the next one, which is the last one, the one that's the seventh mode, this one is the same as the natural minor scale that we just played. And instead of one note changing, it's actually two. Let me show you. It's called the Locrian mode. As you can see, it's the second and the fifth notes that have changed. We've got that flat second again. And if we count up to the fifth note, actually, if I just play the natural minor scale on here, B natural minor, that would be a perfect fifth but this is a diminished or flat five. That gives you a half diminished or minus seven flat five chord. That's used a lot in jazz walking bass lines. Not really riffs. There is a, I can't remember, I'll put, I'll put a link to the riff. There is a riff that does use this Locrian mode, but it's quite a rare one. So quick recap. The first mode, Ionian, well that is your major scale. The second, Dorian, that is like a natural minor scale with a raised or major sixth. Your third mode is your Phrygian, and that's exactly the same as a natural minor, but with a flat second. Then you've got your Lydian major scale with a sharp fourth. You've got your Mixolydian after that major scale with a flat seven. Your sixth mode, the Aeolian, well, that is the natural minor scale. And then that last funny sounding one, the Locrian. That's the natural minor scale with a flat second and a flat five. Of course, there's too much for you to remember right now. That's why I've got the PDF, free PDF that you can download below. It's just a case of, of living with this for a little while. You know, when I first learned modes, I... I kind of didn't really bother with them because they confused me that much. I didn't understand them. I've actually got loads of other lessons that go into modes. And I really think the, the trick with modes is to gain some context with them. For example, Dorian. It's that funk thing. But also... You know, So What by Miles Davis, that is a Dorian song. It's a modal jazz tune and you can do walking bass lines around that. You know, so once you start to realise that out there in the real world of music, we are actually using these modes, I think for me, that is where the magic happens. That's where the understanding and the connection between an abstract collection of notes and actual music, that's where it happens. So those are just memory aids. I hope that will help you a little bit in terms of learning your modes. There are other modes as well. For example, Phrygian dominant. But if you know what a Phrygian is, then a Phrygian dominant, the leap from Phrygian to Phrygian dominant isn't so great because you know these modes. So I would say that these are good ones to start with, the major scale modes. They cover a lot of music, okay? Loads and loads of music. Then if you wanted to go into the harmonic minor and melodic minor modes, it's much easier because you know these ones. I know modes can be a little bit confusing, but stick with it. And I promise you, you'll be making loads of music from this and you'll be hearing music in a different way because you'll hear these 
you know, at work in, in music. But if you do have a question, please do leave it below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, please do subscribe to the channel. I do two videos every single week and I'm hoping to see you on the next one. Cheers.